because there was a couple of planes that just happened to have a wing fall off. I mean, I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, it's got two wings. <laughs> I mean, how bad could it be? Which I know is probably very inappropriate making light that some people actually died in those things. And it wasn't too long ago that that happened. So I have, I have a very terrible sense of humor and I'm sorry. Hello and welcome to Jimmy's World and today is a sad day because I just had the wing spar inspection done that was come out on these where they take the bolts out and then they have to do an eddy current and then if it fills that and they do a die penetrant test. Well, unfortunately uh, it, it failed. So... may have jumped the gun on this airplane and when they were in here doing it we had a bunch of them in here so we had a plane over here that one that one passed and we had another that one passed and then another one way back there you can't see back behind the toolbox that one passed that one passed it wasn't mine that failed it was that one! Yes! I mean, it sucks for that guy because, you know, he's got to go in and replace a wing spar, which is not cheap. That's super expensive. But hallelujah and glory. I'm sure Pastor Jim said a prayer and healed this lame leper of an airplane. And it is clear and the demons have been exercised. That's fantastic news. I honestly, I wasn't too concerned because I kind of did a visual on the rest of the airplane and the rest of the airplane during my pre-buy was super clean. I mean, not even a surfacey anywhere on the airplane. So that and the engine, when I did the compression check and tested everything else out, those were my go, no goes. So I was, fairly confident with the uh, wing spar that was coming out and the engine and then everything else is a lot lesser dollars on the repair if something goes wrong Whew. okay big hurdle just came and got the approval the stamp and in the log books that wing spar is good to go yes in order to fix the wing spar, if it's found cracked, guess what? You have to replace the wing. Yet, that's really not a good thing on an airplane when you have to replace the entire wing. And it's uh, probably 20,000 bucks, give or take. For those of you that are not Piper people, basically Gentiles and heathen pagans, the pipers, the way the wings are bolted together, they have a wing spar, which is kind of like a bolt that comes out this way and goes into the main body of the airplane with a whole bunch of bolts. Here and is the inside of that wing spar. And if we look inside that hole, way down in there, you can't even see it. Those are the bolts that you gotta get to. And you, you gotta change out two of those bolts. See the wrench on it and the same on this side way back in there it's super pain in the butt to get to and i was able to do it with no help whatsoever from our awesome friend brian hey brian see that hole in this airplane is already helping this is past his test with flying colors <laughs> see see what i did there flying airplane <laughs> oh, 